So welcome everybody. Um, first of all, thank you for tuning on to ION News. We really appreciate that. And today we are here to talk about the newly launched challenge app for mobile games. I mean, I really love this concept. It's very exciting. And we, we have here today with us the co-founder and the managing director of Bats for Fun, uh, Micah Clotter. And uh, so Michael, thank you so, so, so much for joining us here today. Well, thank you, Simona, for having me, and thank you for this uh, opportunity to uh, speak about uh, Bed for Fun. Yeah, we are we are very very excited for this app. So, can you give us a brief introduction uh, to Bed for Fun and how it works? Uh, sure. So, uh, Bed for Fun uh, is an iOS app that allows you to challenge instantly any friend uh, or player on any of our partner games uh, for free or in real money, uh, in 1v1 or tournaments. Um, the partner games uh, on Bed for Fun are games made by uh, other studios, other developers uh, that we approach and that we uh, started uh, working with. Uh, and our innovation, innovation um, stems from our ability uh, to provide a, a free multiplayer mode uh, in less than 15 minutes wow. uh, for our partner games, um, thanks to a seamless uh, and fast integration, uh, while granting developers uh, also a new revenue stream, um, thanks to our uh, fair revenue share system. Mm -hmm. uh, we also provide a legal solution uh, to our partners, allowing them to be considered uh, only as a game provider, uh, and not as a betting uh, operator with the constraints that it imposes. Uh, that's something that we do differently uh, from our competition and that uh, we're really proud of uh, at Bet for Fun. Excellent. And you know, but the question is, what inspired you to create this app and how did you get there? Um, so uh, actually, um, there's uh, three co-founders uh, uh, to Bet for Fun. Uh, there's uh, myself, there's uh, Philip, uh, and there's Alex also. Uh, so we all share the virus uh, uh, managing uh, responsibilities, each one um, in our uh, expertise uh, field. Uh, so Philip uh, comes from a gambling background, uh, and he came up with the idea of how cool it would be to um, uh, to challenge uh, other players uh, on mobile games uh, because we felt that something uh, was lacking there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he approached uh, two of his uh, um, friends, uh, acquaintances. Uh, we've known each other for quite some time. Actually, we kind of uh, drifted apart over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, but he knew that I had uh, a background uh, in the gaming industry. Uh, both as a passion personally and also because it was my uh, field of work um, uh, during, uh, during some years in the gaming industry. And also Alex, who had a financial uh, and legal background, uh, that was an obviously uh, necessary expertise uh, to start working on, a, well, on such an ambitious project with obviously uh, high stakes in particular regarding the legislation uh, side. So when, uh, when Philip uh, approached us with this idea, uh, we immediately clicked on the project and started this fantastic uh, adventure that is uh, Bed for Fun. But what market at, at Bed for Fun aim at? So um, are you hoping to win over just casual gamers or also pull in more iGaming world, like, you know, the online casinos and, and the slots? Uh, both actually. Um, what's interesting about this is uh, even though we uh, started, um, our initial focus uh, was on uh, casual gamers, mm -hmm. uh, providing them the ability to earn some cash uh, well, with their own skill uh, on a platform that tends to really cap um, in a relative way uh, the skill ceiling as opposed to uh, PC or consoles or certain type of, uh, of casino games. Um, 
in a sense, we wanted to uh, we wanted for our players uh, to feel uh, like their own uh, esports athletes, uh, if I may say, uh, in the casual and uh, hyper hyper casual uh, scope. Um, today, we know that hyper casual and casual games constitute constitute uh, a vast majority of uh, the gaming apps uh, on mobile. Uh, but due to the, not only the development process, uh, but the marketing process also, uh, multiplayer isn't always integrated. Obviously, we've, you've got uh, leaderboards, uh, but they don't allow you uh, to brag in the same way uh, as uh, challenging and defeating uh, uh, a player instantly uh, uh, on the game. But during um, the developments, we also noticed that there was uh, a shift operating in the in the gambling uh, industry, uh, who was slowly evolving to attract uh, younger players with a more skill-based uh, orientation um, to the to the games, and really uh, more and more an, an emphasis on um, on skill uh, rather than uh, luck. Uh, which is tradi traditionally associated uh, with uh, casino or even um, sports operators uh, um, at some point. Uh, that also really uh, comforted. We were glad to see that trend uh, evolving in the in the casino and gambling sector. Uh, we knew at that point that uh, we were on the right track uh, for bet for fun, uh, and that would allow us also to uh, target uh, different. Uh, segment of uh, users uh, on the market, um, and since all uh, the Bet for Fun partners the, uh, on our app, um, they they are 100% um, skill based. We want to offer uh, uh, casino players uh, an alternative um, with a new activity. Uh, in real uh, money that's uh, entirely uh, mobile oriented, where they can be also in uh, full control of the outcome rather than facing uh, a tougher competition uh, like uh, like the casino uh, or the dealer in that sense. Like a typical challenge on best, Bet for Fun uh, lasts three minutes. So that's where during those three minutes, you've got the opportunity to prove, prove your skill uh, and win. Yeah, it's excellent. I mean, as you as you as you said, it drives the the player engagement absolutely to the next level. And as you said as well, you know, the we seen it that there is the trend that you know even the traditional uh, gaming companies and the providers are trying to implement the skill skill based element as it's not just enough to to you know lay on the the random number generator right so i really agree with you when it comes to this but the real money play always in, involves some regulatory you know and uh, regulation so how are you coping with the regulatory requirements when it comes to rolling out the real money play <laughs> so that's the tricky question uh, indeed um since the beginning, this was a um, crucial aspect uh, of our business mm -hmm. uh, that we anticipated uh, since the beginning and that we really faced head on um, because we wanted to really be uh, irreproachable uh, on this side, whether it's uh, in, in respect, uh, not only of our players, but also of uh, our partner developers. Uh, so for months, uh, while we were developing um, the product to bring it to market, uh, we've worked uh, with not only with various local uh, gambling uh, commissions, but also specialized uh, law firms um, uh, in the territories where we wanted to release uh, to get uh, obviously all the required uh, validations to release bed for fun uh, in those uh, in those territories, and so thanks to this massive upstream work, um, we managed to obtain all the authorization. And we're proud to say that bed for fun 
uh, first of all, offers 100% skill game uh, challenges uh, and is authorized in all the territories that we're planning to release. We currently released in uh, Spain, uh, Ireland, and Austria, uh, and we planning releases in new territories. Exactly, we 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 definitely gonna cover that. I I also read in the press release that you are aiming to launch it soon in Slovenia, where I'm based at the moment. So I'm very I'm very excited for that. But um, you attracted the backing of some high-profile investors. I mean, let's 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 mention you know the ex-board of Voodoo or or the the sport chairman on the Discovery Discovery International or you know ex CEO Poker Stars Europe. So and you also raised a very considerable amount in your first funding round. So can you tell us how you plan to use the new new capital? That uh, funding also came uh, with the experience experiences and uh, great great members. Uh, that you mentioned, um, uh, like Alain Hild, uh, uh, who was previously on the board of Vodou, uh, Jean Thierry Augustin uh, from Eurosport, and also Benjamin Sorge from Pokerstar, uh, from Pokerstar, sorry, that allow us, uh, that help us define and narrow the uh, vision um, for Bet for Fun uh, from the large uh, scale vision to. Uh, even smaller details in the in the product. So we really happy that we've got the opportunity to work with those amazing people uh, on on Breath for Fun. Uh, the experience was uh, invaluable, uh, and we're thankful for that. Um, on the other hand, uh, that funding we received uh, it was uh, mostly used in the uh, over the. Um, last month to constitute and recruit obviously a technical team and although we released uh, bet for fun uh, last friday um, uh, in the training mode and uh, in real money challenges um, we also have uh, are preparing uh, various surprises for our players uh, and we have uh, we continue working uh, on the project uh, to bring extra features, uh, among, among which, in particular, tournaments that are arriving uh, at the end of the month of December. Uh, that's uh, really an excited, uh, an exciting uh, update uh, that we have planned. That will allow us not only to do major world tournaments with up to a thousand players and uh, incredible cash pr uh, cash prizes, uh, but also uh, to uh, grant our players the ability. Uh, to um, create their own custom tournaments uh, with friends uh, or other players. And what's really interesting, what this will allow us to do, um, it's in particular regarding uh, um, streamers, whether it's on YouTube or Twitch or other channels, we believe it's an amazing way for uh, streamers to interact uh, straight with the community uh, on mobile games, uh, they'll be able to really uh, play with the entire community. And uh, aside from that, obviously, we have uh, the Android version uh, planned for April uh, 20, 2021. Um, and that will allow us to uh, cover worldwide uh, um, the remaining mobile users that uh, but as for the moment, we're only on iOS. We're excited to uh, release uh, the Android version in April 2021 so that everyone uh, independently um, of the platform uh, will be able to experience that for fun. Yeah, so definitely big plans ahead. And uh, my very last question. So, you know, you as a as very, you know, as you said, you're passionate about the games and you were involved in, a, in the gaming industry before. So what is so great about the gaming and uh, what are the most exciting trends in the gaming? You know, what's your personal opinion? I have to mention uh, Fortnite. Uh, what started as, a, uh, as an amazing game that uh, appealed uh, to the masses, how they used Twitch to promote their game and also the switch they made uh, from, uh, let's say a battle royale game 
to an incredible uh, entertainment media that it is today. There was uh, an amazing uh, live event, uh, uh, I believe, uh, two days ago uh, to mark the shift of the new season, uh, but also uh, their cross promotion and how they um, challenged head on uh, industry uh, leaders. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking in particular the ability uh, uh, for cross platform play uh, that was really rare before. Uh, before Fortnite and Sony and Microsoft. Now we can play Fortnite across all uh, available platforms. Uh, so th that was quite uh, amazing. Um, and one uh, strong, I would say that that I'm one strong evolution that I'm really glad about personally and uh, professionally is um, some. Uh, let's say, uh, wrong uh, tendencies that uh, emerged in the, in, in the gaming market, in particular, uh, uh, platform elitism in, and tribalism, which uh, I believe are really a dangerous trend. And why, why mobile gaming, uh, why, why the rise of mobile gaming is really, in this, uh, is really important, and essential to the gaming community overall is that it completely uh, changed not only the gaming experience, obviously, uh, but also the entire spectrum of player profiles and uh, personality. And if you see in the shift of uh, gamers in the um, in the past 15, uh, uh, 20 years, uh, I believe uh, we, we can say today, um, I don't have the exact number, but across all platforms, mm -hmm. um, women now constitute uh, the major, the slight majority uh, of gamers worldwide across all, all platforms. And that's the great thing about uh, uh, ga gaming, um, this ability with mobile to bring uh, all those different uh, profiles and personalities uh, through a common, uh media uh that's really amazing i mean gaming remains amazing and it's uh personally i'm glad that i'm able to share this uh with as many people uh, as possible it's, it's it's kind of you know the adventure to be part of that right because uh, the evolution is crazy they, these emerging industries are evolving so fast so, you know, I'm hoping that uh, Bet for Fun will become a huge hit. I'm quite sure, especially from the consumer perspective, as you said, there are some huge highlights. And let's be honest, during this lockdown, <laughs> during this COVID-19 crisis, was the better than the play, you know, to, to, to create a tournament for my friends, right? <laughs> yes, uh, indeed, that was... Uh... Uh, I'm, I'm glad of the role that uh, gaming played uh, in uh, 2020, uh, giving uh, people the ability to uh, to discover games and to enter the uh, the gaming industry uh, or the gaming hobby uh, uh, in general. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we can only salute the success of titles like uh, Animal Crossing this year that uh, uh, that were amazing. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, um, Michael, thank you so much for being here today with us and for sharing uh, insights and uh, all, you know, very interesting opinions. And we're going to keep up with, uh, with the bet for fun. I'm quite sure that uh, there are going to be some, you know, very exciting announcements. And until that, I wish you a great time. And, you know, I'm, I'm quite sure that we're going to catch up soon and you're going to tell me the, the exact numbers and, and the huge success you, you, you achieved. <laughs> uh, thank you, Simona, for having me again. Uh, I was really happy to talk to you uh, about Bed for Fun and the gaming industry in general. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, we'll be in touch. We've got exciting um, um, surprises to announce in the coming weeks months uh, and beyond uh, beyond 2021 uh, so uh, we will keep in touch and uh, for people who are interested all our updates are available either on our website 
or on social media. So yeah, exactly. So I really recommend everyone to to check for themselves, but for fun. And until next time. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you, Simona. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>